Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. The WBC has effectively put a time limit in place for negotiations for a Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury rematch. And if they don't reach a deal, a purse bid will be held in early February. And that will favour the champion Deontay Wilder in terms of the splits. So we'll get to their statement and a few thoughts. But I'd also just say this new statement from the WBC before we, before we get to it, it's effectively they've ordered the fight without actually having said they've ordered the fight. Because in their first statement in December, because they've issued two statements in two months now, they just said they would sanction an immediate rematch. They would were on board for that fight, but they never said they were ordering the direct rematch. But this behavior and this announcement, it does signify that uh, this is in the works now. It is official. Effectively, they are saying this fight is happening. If you don't reach a deal now, it's going to a purse bid. So the statement here, you can see on screen from the WBC website, Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder in the photo there. Uh, 16th of January, Wilder versus Fury 2. Consistent with the WBC Board of Governors voting regarding the direct rematch between WBC champion Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, the WBC is hereby notifying both camps that the free negotiation period is opened, and if there is no agreement between the parties, a purse bid will be conducted by the WBC on Tuesday, February 5th. The WBC has modified the 70-30 split and has confirmed a 60-40 split in favour of the champion Wilder, considering the market value of Fury. So if there is no deal struck by February the 5th, then 60-40 in favour of Deontay Wilder. But Fury is getting a bigger cut than would be otherwise normal, uh, 40% if a deal can't be reached. Many fans, from what I can judge from recent videos, believe that Tyson Fury should be getting a 50-50 split in this fight, just because outside of him and Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder really can't be on pay-per-view and pull in the sort of payday without either Fury or Joshua. And if he was to get 40%, I think a lot of people, a lot of fans, would actually actually think that was potentially a bit unfair for the first fight for the guaranteed splits that uh, the two were getting the guaranteed money Fury was getting slightly less than Deontay Wilder but he was coming back from his comeback we didn't know how good he would be it was in Deontay Wilder's favor because he had the belt and Tyson Fury didn't actually have any hardware he had the lineal status but that's not an actual physical belt but he fought to a draw earned a lot of credit from that and a lot of people want to see this and believe it should be 50-50 50. But also what this announcement from the WBC has done, and I've seen some chatter online about this um, before coming to do this video, there are a number of people who are holding out hope that because it's a purse bid situation, if they can't reach a deal, that there is still hope and scope for the fight to come back to the United Kingdom. I actually don't think that will happen just because Frank Warren has already signaled that the fight is likely to be in the US and it's likely to be in Las Vegas. That is the city he has mentioned as the most likely candidate to get the fight. So I don't I don't think the UK is really an option. If Frank Warren had sort of said we're going to fight tooth and nail to get it to Old Trafford, 75,000 and all that sort of stuff, um, then maybe I would think it was potentially likely. But because he's already said it's going to go where the money is, and that's in the United States. I think we can rule out the United Kingdom as an option. But they've only been given just over two weeks to get this deal done. That's actually quite a, a short time frame, and I was thinking about why have the, they done this, and part of it could be Dominic Brazil, because he's obviously the WBC mandatory challenge. They have an obligation to him to sort of sort out his situation, which they can only do once they sort out this rematch situation. In that first statement from uh, December the 7th, they said that uh, the mandatory status within the division was going to be dealt with in, in a resolution. So uh, that can only be done after they actually get the wheels turning on this rematch. And the WBC is turning those wheels for all parties involved so it can uh, get the fight made and sort of tidy up whatever else it has to, um, the sort of flow on effects. And one of those flow on effects is Dominic Brazil. We potentially will see him in some sort of interim title fight, but only just over two, two weeks to sort of get a deal done. That feels a little bit tight, but given they're saying this should be an easy fight to make, perhaps two weeks to get a deal in principle done, you know, agree the splits, all that sort of stuff, maybe that can be done. And I'm sure Tyson Fury and Frank Warren, if they want 50-50, they will be trying to secure that in the next 
next couple of weeks. Whether they can get it, who knows? We've all heard Frank Warren and Tyson Fury recently saying it won't be a hard fight to make. It's just some of those details around the fight date, the venue, that sort of stuff. That can be a bit more tricky to actually organize in a short period of time. But some of the other bits and pieces in terms of an in principle deal shouldn't be too hard. So that will be put to the test because if they can't get a deal done, obviously on February the 5th there will be a, a purse split and they'll be told, look, this is um, what you're getting, 40% and 60% to Wilder. But I guess whoever wins this, and even if they do decide to have it in the United States, regardless of this purse split, um, it will be control of the promotion. So that could be attractive to Frank Warren, but you'd imagine uh, Deontay Wilder's camp, uh, Al Heyman, the PBC, all that sort of stuff stuff you know with boots on the ground and hosting many events over many years in the United States you'd imagine they would be better suited to, to running point on the promotion but who knows the Queensbury promotions was involved in some capacity uh, for the December 1st fight as was Deontay Wilder's own promotional vehicle Bomb Squad promotions but just some news here the WBC effectively ordering the fight and they've never said the words ordering, but through their actions, they're saying, look, if you don't get a deal done in this free negotiation period, we are going to purse bid. So they are going to be fighting. The WBC has made that clear. And a purse bid will be held on February the 5th if they can't strike a deal. What do you make of this news? A purse bid coming up in a couple of weeks if they can't come to terms. Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.